Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? <sighs> it's kind of late today, 10 p.m. now. Okay, life is uh, tough and uh, complex. So this brings our today this video's topic, complex mapping. And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about secondary table. What is secondary table? Which is we have one class, but we map into two or more tables. Okay, two tables. This is usually happened in legacy system. When we want to extend a build on top of the uh, uh, on top of the no not a build extend the features in the legacy system. Suppose we have a student. Uh, table okay and uh, we this student table already have uh, 20 columns one table and uh, or 30 columns we want to add uh, more columns on that and uh, in the Lexi system sometimes we might be afraid to break the Lexi system so we will create another table separate but uh, and store all the new columns but in our code we're using one class which will map into two tables let's uh, take a look at the example okay uh, we um, already have the project structure set up and uh, in this one let's give one example uh, 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 let's give one example suppose how about a call uh, student okay we're using student right let's use student okay I'm um, actually I'm not at a good at give the example suppose in a student I give ID which is ID doesn't care in this case we don't care about if it's one uh, oh, we, we're using auto generated how about that generated value okay because I want to have a save and you can see the difference okay private string uh, social security number and uh, for a student we have the first name and we, for the student we have the second name or oh, not a second name <laughs> last name and the student have a private uh, string uh, major okay and a student have a private string uh, no no let's look using a local date okay which is entry date okay oh my god this one i cannot import because my language by default is the five set it in our intellij okay now it's set to eight so it import uh, local data successfully so for this one i using entity and uh, let's add uh, setter getter and uh, no argument uh, constructor okay <sighs> and now we are demo for secondary table right so one student class will break into two tables how to do that secondary table and you give a name this one is supposed to call person okay and uh, what uh, I'm gonna do is how about uh, uh, how about uh, this three three column um, save into the person table how about that so how to do that when we, when I talk about a column this annotation before I mentioned that here you have something called a table mm. And we're here using table equals this person. And the same thing for these two. How about that? These two. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. So everything is done for the config configuration. Uh, as I thought. Okay. And now here let's run and see if everything correct okay so let me uh let me drop all the tables from uh, from here it's gonna save into this uh, uh schema okay drop all the tables drop good 
and the refresh nothing okay I can do like this okay I'm kind of like a yeah why doesn't it go out oh not this one I press the wrong button e oh, oh, oh oh why like this oh my god oh I don't want to like this okay one more time Oh, well, good, good, good. Okay, like this. Okay, good. Now let me run. Okay. Uh. Nothing to do now. Just uh, wait. Hmm. Seems all the table created successfully. You can see here, create one table, create another table. Okay, let's refresh and see the table generated. Uh, this hibernate sequence is because I using auto here. Okay, good person. You are see first name, last name, social security number. First name, a uh, first name, last name, social security number, and uh, we have an ID here. It also using the shared primary key, shared primary key, and uh, we have a student. Student have ID entry measure, ID entry measure. So combine them to be one record. They have to using the shared primary key to find out. Okay. So let me save uh, two student for you, so you will see the different. You will see the, what's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, let me create a constructor to using all the fields except for the what's thing what is what should i say uh, ex except for the id okay so let's create student one s1 equals new student d u e n t good and the first value is the social security number is the social security number Yes, social security, and I will use social security social security number one. Okay, and the next one is uh, Tina, my favorite name. Hmm. <sighs> What's your favorite name? And uh, then a uh, major major. Let's using computer science. Okay. Local date entry local date. Uh, uh of okay we're using 2019 and the month we're using this month the date we're using today okay let's use in tomorrow yesterday okay and now i using create another student okay and the student two we're using social security number two and the tina two X I N G two not a computer science. Let's using arts. I'm not a good at anything related to arts like a dance, singing, or painting or drawing. Nothing I'm good at those. <laughs> okay, not talented in arts. Anything related to those. Okay. Uh, let's using ten. Um. <laughs> if I sing, everyone gonna cry. <laughs> uh, em dot persist s one. Em dot persist s two. Okay. So now let's see what's gonna be the value stored. Okay. Like this. Run one more time. Control Shift F ten. Okay, you can see full insert statement, which means everything is correct. Okay, first let's rerun this SQL. Okay, good. You can see uh, the ID 2000. Uh, this is uh, for the first student, right? 2019 and uh, computer science. And uh, how to find uh, the first name and the last name and social security, social security, social security number for this student for this one. 
using the value of the primary key to find. Go to the person and try to see if we have an ID is one. If we have a record, the ID is one. Okay. And see here, ID is one, it matches, right? See here, for the ID one, we have a social security number one, Tina XING, and uh, its major is computer science one, Tina XING, social security number one, and uh, the computer science. Okay, we're using ID, shared primary key, to match the to make sure that the two tables are linked as one record. Okay, so that's it for the secondary table. Okay, and uh, if you have other question, leave a comment. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.